history of the speakers and it's not very well structured. Uh, my first question is to Professor Cook and um, I want to know how 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 do how can we relocalize the minority culture without dislocating it? You, you talked about in your lecture about dislocation and relocation. So how can you relocalize it without dislocating it? And also like when the when we are uh, talking about including the peripheries within the mainstream or within the central, the central uh, in, in the systematic central, there is always the risk of creating new peripheries as well. And this can go on as a loop, loop as well. And so how to relocate, read or understand or even experience. Experiencing is the, uh, the term that came up. So how to experience the minority culture outside the minority straight jacket that you talked about. And uh, if if an archive is built as well, how can it be an, an horizontal archive or a porous archive? Can, how the archive cannot be stuck in the hegemony? Mm. So this is my question to you. Uh, well, first, thank you for that question, which is a very important one. Um, I, there's a sort of rather, for me, what a connection that was made, um, which is an art, comes as a kind of answer to your question. Um, I said towards the end of what I had to say that it seemed to me that one of the, um, perhaps the university social responsibilities, or the responsibilities of the university, especially of its humanities department, is to create communities. And um, uh, Shayantan then gave a much richer account of what it might mean to create such a community. I mean, in, in his account of the student who comes to him and says, you know, where is Nepali? But namely, that in order to make the relocation not a, an alienating dislocation, you need basically to create a space. Um, I mean, a physical space, uh, but one that is also a cultural space. And it seems to me that one of the great possibilities of the humanities in India is that it will, in universities, create such spaces. And if, it, if, it, if this was to happen, it would, of course, be enriching in many other contexts as well, but it would have quite profound consequences for the uh, aspects that Susurita talked about, namely the current hierarchies of, uh, of value and priority um, that universities might have. Um, so it's not an easy task, but I think there's an answer to your question, and I think it's an answer that is grounded in a potential reality, um, and in some cases in an actual reality. 